Hello, Joe from Joe K Models here. So before I actually put the wings on and do all that good stuff, I figured it would be easier to work on some of the fuselage cleanup now as opposed to having a bigger piece to work with. Um, so what I basically have been doing is since I was using the sprue goo to um, you know, cover up the seams here as well as work on the gap in the front with the nose since those pieces didn't go together um, quite as well as I hoped and actually a piece of it broke off so I had to re-glue re it on there and then also try and fill that in. Once I had the sprue goo on there I took some sanding, uh, a sanding stick and it's about I believe a two to three hundred grit for that and I wet sanded these areas and then I just took some loose sandpaper of varying grits and I just sanded it down till I felt like it was pretty smooth. I put Tamiya tape because there's a lot of detail on the structure of the fuselage so I just put tape there so that I could sand it without having to worry about getting into some of that detail. Um, so that's what I was doing there. Pretty happy with the way that the front of the nose turned out um, and I just added a little bit of this NATO black on top because once you sand it it's like very hard to tell whether you've actually done a good job as far as like removing the seam or what that's actually going to look like once there's you know primer and paint on it. So I like to take some NATO black and then after I'm done sanding it go over it just to see if I can uh, you know, see if it's smooth, if there's any ghost seams popping out. Um, so that's what I've been doing. So again, I'm happy with the way that the nose turned out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with that. Um, but over back here, I am noticing there's a little bit more work to be done. You can see right there, you can tell that obviously there's a, you know, a little bit of a, a hump there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some uh, thinner and wipe the paint out and then put the tape back on basically work backwards and sand that again so that's why I am doing that now because I, f I figure it's easier to, to check this now and that way when I get to the painting and everything I don't have to you know stop again and and reevaluate what I'm doing I, once I start painting I like to just go at it you know put the primer on put the paint on I don't like to you know pause so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to go back and clean this up a little bit better and see where we're at after that. Okay, much happier with that result. Um, I couldn't really see the seam line after putting the NATO black over it so I went ahead and removed the paint after that since I'm happy with it as well as the nose uh, the last thing I'm going to do for this I'm just going to put a thin layer of Mr. Surfacer over it just as I guess you would call it like a insurance policy and uh, you can actually thin Mr. Surfacer with lacquer thinner um, so that it's not going on you know that thick so I'm going to put a thin layer over that as well as the nose and then I'm going to get on to the actual assembly. So if you remember from the last vlog, originally the fuselage did not fit into the wing so I spent a fair amount of time um, sanding the inside here to to make the fuselage fit and try and make it fit as flush as possible. Um, I also sanded back here to try and have it line up with the back of the bottom here as best as I could and while yes it does fit and actually it goes in there pretty pretty good now snaps right in um, there's still some issues. If you look at the bottom here, um, I 
pretty much gotten this to sit flush, but, um, you know, we'll have to do some work there, but there's a pretty substantial gap up here in the front. Um, there's not really much I can do about it. I'm not sure whether it's an issue with the fit of the kit or if it's something that maybe I did trying to get the fuselage to fit. Um, I know I had to do a lot of work with getting the two halves to fit originally, so I'm just thinking that, you know, a lot of little things adding up may have led to this, this gap there, but um, that's okay. I'm going to probably use Milliput to fill this um, and then maybe use a hobby knife to kind of make some lines to um, you know connect that piece there and then also the Milliput will be good to to make this look a little bit um, better in the end so that's where I'm gonna go with that but just wanted to explain you know how I got to this point and um, yeah so I'm going to finish gluing everything together here and then that's going to end it for this vlog and thank you so much for joining. This is Joe from Joe K Models.